For reconciliation, the ball is in my court more than your court. Reconciliation, I think, primarily is about non-Indigenous people coming to know the truth about our history, uh, coming to see uh, our history through Indigenous eyes as much as that might be possible. Part of it is the truth part of truth and reconciliation. But I think another part of it is we need to make the effort to get to know those of us who are non-Indigenous, to get to know Indigenous people. What are some of the barriers that you've had in obtaining your education? Well, there's a lot of barriers as a First Nations woman living in the inner city. Um, so a few of them off the top of my head are being a single mom, um, raising four kids on my own, living on social assistance, living in the inner city. What, what does it mean to have a place like the Merchant's Corner? It's extremely important in this community. Um, I think that we have a lot of people who are in the North End who have a lot of potential and who are very talented and smart and they just need the place to go where they feel comfortable and where they're in their comfort zone. Five or ten years from now, um, little kids in the community, when they're 13 or 14 or 10 or 11, they're going to say, I'm going to go to university at Merchant's Corner. One of the ways of thinking about what we're doing here at Merchant's Corner is a sort of reconciliation in practice by bringing together Indigenous people from the inner city with non-Indigenous people from elsewhere in the city. They get to know each other, they develop relationships, they know each other on a social level. That happens surprisingly rarely in this, in this city. It happens here at Merchant's Corner daily. Uh, I think that's a big step forward as well. If you were to have uh, advice for people that maybe don't know to how to have a relationship with Indigenous people, what would that what would that advice be? Just talk, talk to each other. You know, get to know people, um, look past the stereotypes, and just understand the intergenerational effects. It, it's real, like it's happening. We're living it, and, and just understand where we're coming from and put yourself in our shoes you know what would you know how would you feel if you had to deal with your family who's been dealing with the effects that we're dealing with developing those relationships is something that requires some care it requires some time it does require you know being respectful and not not wanting to be or trying to be the leader but rather being part of the collective activity mm -hmm. what does reconciliation mean to you we need to get outside of what for many of us is our comfort zone and reach out to Indigenous people and, and uh, go for a coffee or have them over for dinner. Uh, um, those kinds of simple human things, I think, are a part of what reconciliation is about.